Hello friends, this is me Anil Polsani. I'm your mainframe trainer. So uh, in this video guys, we'll be seeing the question and answers that are more commonly asked on the mainframe and true platforms. So this is one of the Excel sheet I've been using and explaining you to the each and every question that I see in this Excel sheet. These are the questions which are gathered by a couple of my students. They have put them, uh, what are the intro questions they have play, uh, seen or they have faced. And those questions have been listed here. So the similar questions I have already been uh, training in a, another language, in Telugu language already. So now uh, from here onwards, we'll be putting those question and answers in Telugu uh, English language now. Okay. So let's go ahead and just before we go ahead, guys, please do like my uh, videos to like, uh, please share the videos within your team, within your friends. Please do subscribe as well. Now you may say that Anil, why do I need to subscribe? Why do I need to like it? Come on, guys. Uh, this is a kind of win-win uh, situation. I provide the knowledge to you and you simply click a button, a like button or a subscribe button how hard it is to click a button for us it will take an hour to prepare this video guys and for you just a second to click a like button and yes go through the video if you like till the end of the video if you got a one point of new knowledge from this particular video i would really appreciate you to like and share our videos and the people who already subscribed to my channel guys you are my energy for you i'm preparing all these videos you can put a comment below to see what kind of more videos you want what topic you are more interested what topic makes you little bit uh, uncomfortable you can put your comments in below uh, in which language also you want okay i can train you i can train you in english i can train you in hindi and telugu as well so you can put below the comments what language you want to get the knowledge of a particular topic. So you keep the topic in the comment. You keep the topic what you want. You keep the uh, question that you had or you keep the language that you want you me to train. Okay. So that's done. We'll go forward. We'll go fast from here. So this questions, guys, I already told you these are already covered in Telugu language. So the people who are already in Telugu, guys, to understand go and watch that videos but to answer in interview you need to watch this video as well in the interview you need to give the answers in english not in telugu okay so those videos are only for understanding guys these videos are for the sake of presentation in the interview and the people who are waiting for the english language guys i really appreciate for you to wait wait for these videos and let's go ahead see one by one question we'll try to cover 10 questions in today's video within a less than 30 minutes time span so uh first question is the first particular couple of questions guys like almost 30 to 40 questions are related to cobalt plus db2 modules so if you have a little bit knowledge on db2 these questions are very much interesting to uh, cover for your intro purpose so the first question is there is there any limitations on how many index you have in a table now there is no limitation guys okay there are no limitation that okay anil you can create only one index you can create only two index no on a given table if you have a primary key column okay if you have any primary key column must and should you should have a unique index created that is the basic rule okay that's a simple rule for any primary key column you should have a unique index to be created and apart from that there are other columns anil okay what if the uh, interviewer asked me anil that uh, can i create uh, a unique index on any other column yes mandatory for primary key column you need to create a unique index and and for any other column you can create a index of unique and non-unique type as well okay so the people who has not much knowledge on index of unique and non-unique case there is a video in my channel okay you can just type unique and non-unique index by anil polsani 
you will find that video and that is very good guys even a small to small beginner also can understand what is that index point is and it is practical not only theory it is practical so just for knowledge you can see that but but this question okay for this question how many index you can have in a table for a limitation there is no limit each column you can create a unique index and in case if they ask you anil what is the purpose of creating an index then there are reasons one of the reason that you will tell that you think that is right is that index help you to get faster retrieval so it's not like that index has two other characters as well one of the case is when you are trying to insert any duplicates this index will stop it and whenever you are trying to retrieve the data this index will help you to get searching faster okay now that is point one you need to present the answer in a simple way and in a uh, kind of confident way as well now what is the difference between include and copy now this is very very common question guys okay this is very common question and this is the a uh, very good question actually to ask even i asked many times in my intro panel as well what is this particular code difference is so basically uh, in a single sentence if you want to tell you can say that include is used to copy the uh, table layout what we call it as a decalgen and copy statement is used for the sake of copy books so if it is a table copy book we will be using include statements to put it in the program and for it is a file copy book or any other cobal related code copy book then we will be using copy statement to include it now there is another difference anil why you need an include okay i can use only copy right i can use only copy no basically no there is a point where we talk about the pre compilation topic okay so the table related copy books must be table related copy books must be available in the pre compilation step this copy word is a cobal which will go in compilation step now what is pre compilation what is compilation that is the basic knowledge guys i assume that you already know what is pre compilation and compilation if you don't have that point in one of my video there is a concept of compilation story pre compilation story is there check that video you'll get a kind of knowledge then only this answer is very reliable answer for your intro purpose so if somebody asked me anil can you tell me the difference between include and copy i would say that if it is a table copy book i'll use the exit sql include statement if it is any file or cobal code copy book then i'll use a copy statement then pre compilation process the include statements the copy book of decalgen will be expanding will be expanding during pre compilation whereas the copy statement copy books are expanded during compilation process that is the answer for this question now next one how do we pass data from one program to another program now this is very much a known question okay this is not a db2 question i would say this is a cobal question so how do you pass data from one program to another this is using the um, call statement plus using clause again call statement is not passing data guys call statement is used to pass the control to the program to program now while passing the control through call statement we'll be using the concept of using clause and we will mention what variable has to be passed what data has to be passed so in that there is a types like you have call by reference call by content now in here one data type order processing okay i think this is the answer okay this is the second question here is the data type and order of passing the data to the called program can be different or not now here it is asking that if i am passing some data from main program to sub program the data types should be same and the data uh, variable sequence like abc should be the same sequence in the sub program so the answer is very simple for data type yes you can have same you can have different as well for data type it's okay uh, you can have it i'm not telling you should code it generally we don't do it generally what happens in the project what are the data uh, variables we are passing from main program the same thing we will catch it in the sub program as it is that is the general scenario 
but as per the question point okay as per the question point if somebody asked me anil can i pass can i have different data types in main program and sub program variables i would say yes you can do it okay you can do it and maybe there will be no compilation error okay compilations there will be no error but if you are passing any bad data such things that may cause some problem so while coding you can code and your syntax will not be any mistake but when you are passing the data if you are passing any bad data this different data type will not be working for you second thing order of passing the data now it should be same that means if main program is passing the values a b c the sub program also should receive the data values in abc sequence only that is not going to be different it should be same data type yes can have different but you may find some issues second data passing sequence no you cannot have in different sequence now let's go to the fifth question here uh, fourth only okay the count is different so this is only fourth question why we use cursor okay what errors will come for multiple rows fetched now again this is a very uh, general question and very common question in any of your interview guys related to cursor topic so you please be very careful with this topic be prepared and go don't go blind don't go blindly into the interview guys you need the job okay there are not many openings okay the recession is still is on and if you doesn't know what is recession guys then you are in the like you are living uh, alone in the world so the recession is there guys it's not like uh, the earlier 2008 and 2009 recession or 2019 or 20 pandemic recession guys this is a special kind of recession that is running on so be very careful uh, you may not get many calls on any technology not only main from any technology there is not many openings guys so you'll be getting couple of interview calls you should be getting selected in that so please prepare and go okay i'll uh, create another video for about the recession story one more time i already did one recession story in 2022 i'll create another recession story which is currently running in the market so that also will help you to understand how the market is for mainframe or any other technology now if for this question why we use cursor anil okay cursors are used itself to get multiple rows okay to get multiple rows from a particular table in cobal program now what are the errors will come for a multiple row fetch now if it is see here this question is little bit more written incorrectly or incompletely so if i use select query that's what the question is if i use select query what error will come for multiple row fetch that is the question so the answer is sql code minus 811 so using your cobal program you cannot get multiple rows at a time into the program using select query alone using cursor okay using cursor you can fetch one row using cursor you can fetch multiple rows as well but using select query okay using select query you can get only one row at a time and if you get multiple rows by any reason then you will be getting sql code minus 811 that's the answer for this particular part and there are so many questions we can ask on cursor okay we'll see there are lot many questions are there there are couple of questions will be repeated differently now to the fifth question what things need to be considered while adding a new column to a db2 table now this is a developer question guys okay what columns or what things you need to consider while adding a new column to db2 table this is a developer question or maintenance question actually not a developer question maintenance question this is do we need to make changes in program having select and insert statements if the column added in the table is not used do we need to change the tickle gen do we need to compile all the programs now this is a kind of a series of question like you give one answer the interviewer will ask you the second question if you give the answer to the second question the interviewer will ask you the third question that kind of series scenario here so let's see one by one what things need to be considered while adding a new column to a db2 table now first thing first uh, when you are adding before you add a column generally we do analysis okay in the project there are different types of analysis are there for this scenario for a maintenance kind of when adding a new column to a table we will do an impact analysis okay we call that as an impact analysis that is the first thing that we do in the impact analysis only we will figure out 
what happens if I add a column where I need to change and everything. Now, in this case, what we do is we will raise a request, okay, to add a column. We will raise a request to the DBA. We will mention that this is the column that I need. This is the data type I need and the particular constraint, okay, whether it is a not null or with the default, what constraint you want, you can tell to the uh, admin there. Now, the best option is to use with default because if you add a column and you don't give any rule, by default system will keep all the nulls to the existing table rows. Okay, you already have a table. You already have millions of record in the table. You're adding a new column. Then the particular column should have some data, right? So if you don't give any constraint by default, all the columns will be set to nulls which we don't want in the program. So what we do, we can queue with the default as spaces, with the default as zeros based on the data type. That is one of the best option. So, and again, you need to do it in the test environment, then you can make the changes and everything directly. We don't do it in the production. Now, since you added a new column to the DB2 table, now you need to update your decal gen, okay? Now here is the question. The second, third question over here is on the decal gen story. So now here what happens if you change the decal gen guys, okay, if you change the decal gen, all the programs that are going to be using the decal gen is going to be impacted. So what you need to tell in the interview that if at all the column is only specific for one table, okay, that particular new column what we added is only for one particular program. Not all the programs are interested, only one program is interested in that column. So what we do in the project is we'll create another decal gen. Okay, a table can have hundreds of copybook guys. There is no limit for that as well. So I will create, okay, I'm an experienced person. I don't want to impact other things which are not interested. I don't want to waste the client money working on something that is not important. So what I will tell the client saying that we will create a new decalgen copybook with this new column and only that particular program which is required this one, that program only will be getting affected. But if the a uh, project says that okay there are only four or five programs okay that particular table is used only by four or five programs now in that case what we do we will tell that sme that we'll tell the client that we want to sync up all the components we'll keep the sync that means in one table has 10 columns so the corresponding programs will have only one decal gen only like that we will create a sync for that we'll create a sync of that so in here in here once you add a column Updating decal gen is an optional case. If required, update the decal gen and up, uh, compile all your programs to make it in sync. But if the interviewer is asking, is it mandatory? Then you say, no, not required. Okay, it's not mandatory always. But what happens is you want to keep it sync because when you see a table, okay, you added a column and I came later after two or three years. And when I see the program, I will not notice that column is there anywhere. If I see the old digital gen, I won't know whether the column is there or not. So generally you can avoid, okay, optional case, but in the interview, what you need to tell is to keep all the components in sync. That means in proper position, you will tell the interviewer that you will call change the digital gen, you will compile all your programs and Basically, in this column, okay, if this column needs in any select query, you're going to change that program. If this column has to be inserted through program, then that particular program also will be getting changes. So, as in case, if a new column is added, it's not mandatory to change everything. That is the first answer. But you will tell that anything that is affecting will be getting changed. And if we want to keep every component, every program in sync, I will I will compile, I will change the programs, I will update the decal gen and I will compile all the programs to make everything in sync. That's what you need to tell. Now, the next question is, what is the load module mismatch error code? Now, this is a simple SQL code question that is SQL code minus 818. And in the interview, if they ask you the second question after this question, they may ask you, Anil, have you faced, okay, Anil, have you faced any 818 in your project experience i would say no okay in my 12 years experience in in the way which i have worked in the environments where i have worked uh, in a complexity which i have seen i never got that 818 in my life 
okay in my training system also we tried many times but in reality it is a very 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 rare case to get minus 818 so in the interview i will say that i never seen 818 in my project experience if they say that anil okay you did not see i saw i got minus 818 how you will solve it 818 is because of load module mismatch with the packages or dbrms so the only solution is you do the pre-compilation and bind one more time that is the solution there so 818 not practical in project theoretically in true purpose you just learn one or two times now the next question is a newly defined field has null values what need to be done now obviously you need to go for a program to update those data okay like here we added a column right just now i told you we added a new column so when we add a new column if you don't give any constraint by default system will add nulls to all the rows a million rows are there so it will add all the null values to the million rows so what need to be done now this is not we gonna decide okay we are not gonna decide that because what value should come to that column okay is a business rule okay some conditions should match then all the value should be there like that if suppose the interviewer say that anil i want to keep one two three in this column okay randomly i want to keep one two three in this column then the best way was like i said right while defining the column itself we will give with the default one two three that is the best way to keep but interviewer say that no anil i already have nulls while creating the column we did not use any with the default the null is already there now what you do so there are a couple of ways one of the best way is one of the best way is create a load file okay load file in the sense load unload jobs will be there create a load file with the one two three data in this particular column positions and then load the data at once so that is the best way to do it if they ask you anil i don't know how to do load unload what is the other option so there are other option by using the cobalt db2 program as well you can make an update updating all the columns with the one two three anil can i write an update query in a tool no you cannot do like that because table data are very high in count your query will not run in spoofy tool for a long time so it won't run you need to write a cobalt db2 program or you need to use the load process recommended is load process if you still doesn't know anil i don't know what is load unload case start learning that every project every application will do load unload even you are a developer or you are in a support and maintenance project we do load unload regularly so that is the learning training thing if you don't know start learning that so here is the question if newly defined fields has null what to do either you go for load process or you write a cobalt db2 program now can we create decalgen with a different name yes if only one program so same thing here okay i already explained here that if you are adding a column and it is only affecting one program and other programs you don't want to mess up you don't want to work on them can i create a different decalgen yes you can create decalgens are not any particular naming standards it is as per your project you can create as many copy books for a single table with a different name and you can use that only in that single program where you want to use it and compile only that program. So this is a kind of similar question from here to here. And it's only adding a new column. Now, the last question what I have here is, can we use decalgen with copy statement? Uh, I would, like I said, okay, if they doesn't know about pre-compilation, you doesn't know the answer, guys. But I would say if you already have a pre-compilation knowledge, you know the answer that we cannot use table copy books using copy statement okay you cannot use a table copy book using copy statement you need to use it in include statement that is point one and the second question can we code host variables in working storage section this is very good question and this is true yes yes you can code the variables directly in working storage section if you don't want to use a copy book or include statement for your table copy books okay if you don't want to use an include statement guys you can use those host variable directly defined in working storage section that also is a very good technique to use in the program
so anyway so these are the questions guys before you leave me here before you close this video there are other videos that are coming in lineup for this english module for all the questions okay there are tons of questions here with each video will cover 10 10 questions there some of the cobalt questions some are cobalt db2 questions some are little bit repeated also guys but it's okay one or two times if you repeat don't scold me please if you have understood a little bit if you have got at least one point of new knowledge okay not many if you still if you got one knowledge from this question from me then this video does deserves a like if you have any questions that you want to ask put it in the comment i'll add it in this excel sheet and i'll explain to you in english only right so please do subscribe to the channel and already subscribed people guys i really like you thanks for your time and we'll catch up in the next video